Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty. So bear ourselves against the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years. This talk will cover three kings, my grandfather, my father and myself. It's entitled, Go to Blazes, and should appeal to those who know how to do the hands, knees and bumps of Daisy, and know the words of the Lambeth Walk. So here goes. I was born in a fire station during the Depression. The central fire station Cardiff, which was opposite the Arms Park, later became the National and the Millennium Stadium, the home of Welsh Rugby and the English FA Cup. We were on the third floor, overlooking 90, sorry, nine-tenths of the ground. My uncles, of which there are up to ten, came to see all the matches between Wales and other countries and to hear the match on the radio, all free. At the end of the match, both sets of reporters would meet in a pub in Wilmington Street at the bottom side of the fire station and they would sing beautiful Welsh hymns. There was never any hooliganism or fights. What a change. So let's start with the first king, William Henry King, my grandfather. He was a superintendent of Cardiff Police and Fire Department. He was six foot two inches tall, very, very formal. He shook hands. He had huge hands. He said to me once, when I was a little boy, and I'd be looking up to him, towering over me, Billy, this hand has arrested seven murderers. And he had actually done that. And in some cases, I don't think he was terribly gentle with some of the people that he arrested. Most of his work, certainly in the early days, was in a place called Tiger Bay, the dockland of Cardiff. He joined the police in 1897 and became promoted to sergeant in 1908 and inspector 1913 and became a superintendent of A Division, the Central Division in Cardiff, which covered also work in the Assizes, which meant he had to transport people from the size who were found guilty to the local Cardiff jail. In 1932, he retired. The local paper said he had handled more serious cases of crime than anybody else in the city. He was involved in the seamen strike, which was a strike of seamen against their owners, and in fact the owners had brought in Chinese workers to do the work for them. These tailors, in fact, were very incensed by this, and they attacked all Chinese laundries in Cardiff. People were brought in from many other police forces in order to assist in reducing this rioting. Extra priests were billeted in Westgate Street, which used to be an old ice rink, and my, my grandfather was in charge of the whole operation. Whilst he was a formidable figure, he had another side to his personality. He and his brother Frank, who was awarded a military cross in the First World War, was a police inspector. He was 15 stone. My grandfather in his prime was 18. At the end, when he died, he was 20. And they often used to do at police meetings and social events a rendition of, we run them in, we show them, we're the brave John Don. And they actually did a dance at the same time. I would have loved to see it. <laughs> 